Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to do an unboxing. Um, if you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And while you're watching, uh, if you hit the like button, that would be greatly appreciated. If you hear some jingling and bumping around, it's the new pup. He's playing with his uh, little, he's playing with his bone. He's having a good time. This is just life at the Layton house. Um, so I got a I got a thing here. I got a big bag. It was a jewelry jar that I got in my last auction with Fairy Vixen. She um did a buy it nail on the jewelry jar. There's some all kinds of things in here. She did add at least three pieces of sterling that I saw, and I got this for the bargain price of forty dollars um that's counting the sterling and everything so what we're going to do is we're going to do an unboxing it arrived neatly in this large bag and small bags inside of it um to prevent it from tangling and things so i do appreciate that so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead in here and show you what i got we'll do it piece by piece and get everything taken care of Okay, what I'm going to unbox, she had to put it in a couple of different little bags here. I'll save the silver for last. I did get a beautiful bunch of bangles from Forever 21. Still in their original packaging. They're like the aluminum ones and they all have some interest. They're not just those plain little throwaway bangles. These are really cute. I'm passing things to Dalton to go along. Let him help me. He's so weird. Okay. Also got this really cute Coldwater Creek necklace. And the Coldwater Creek tag is right there and did you all know that Coldwater Creek is no longer in existence I went to look online and they had closed the store and the online stores so. there we go Here is a cute brass bangle. I used to have some of these when I was in high school. They're great, very lightweight. And here is a cute, let's see if we can get this to focus in just a second. Hmm. Turn on some more light. That means stop that and turn on some more light. This, uh, there we go. Bourbon and bow ties. Ooh. Too much. That's okay. That's a bourbon and bow ties. That's what that name brand is. And it's um a bangle. And it's made, it's the end of like a shotgun shell which is kind of cute which gives me a lot of ideas I like that let's see okay. here is Liz Claiborne earrings that feels like some kind of stone. And they were from Macy's for $22. So that's pretty cool. Okay. 
glass beads here, seed beads, and I'll pull it through so you can see it up on. That's what it is. Meredith will like that. She's been making things with glass beads, so if we decide not to keep or sell that, she will break it down. Dalton, stop making so much noise. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to put this up here. Oh, this is a cookie lead with the tag on it. Oh, it's pearls and glass. Cookie lead. $14 tag on it, and I love pearls. It's a little stretchy. Brand new. I'm always looking for chains because I get a lot of pendants. This is a really nice chain. Let me grab another little handful out. There's a lot of stuff for $40, guys. She usually starts her jars at if you're bidding or whatever, depends upon. But if a lot of times if they're being bid upon, she starts around twenty dollars. But she did this as a buy it now, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is a multi-layer chain. I like that. I like the different kind of links with the chains. Let's pick it up so that makes so much noise. Okay. Here's a little pendant. It's a very light, like that balsa wood. On a very cute box chain. Ooh, this is nice. No name brand on it, but it is a slab of highlight that's been wire wrapped has some wooden beads here and then it's got like some jasper here comes up to a string that has a button like the wrap bracelets but it says it's cool it doesn't it's not worn at all it looks brand new I hope everybody's had a good day today. I've done a lot of resting. I don't know. It's like um had a flare and I was thinking it's coming to the end. It's one of the little bowl necklaces, but instead of having the round stations, they've got ovals and then a drop, which I think is really cute. It's different. There's no name brand on it, but it feels well made. But, you know, it's been a long, almost three years since I had my back injury. And I'm telling you, it's been a lot. You never understand what it's like to have constant pain until you go through it yourself. That says Forever Friends on a very delicate chain, which is really cute. Oh, this is nice. It is a wrap bracelet. This is the, come on, focus, the center point. And I'm going to go off one side. These look like a venturine. Then down with some glass beads that are beautiful. The other side has the adventurine. These look like some amethyst. On down to a beautiful decorative button. That's a beautiful wrap bracelet. I'm going to keep this to one of my hairs. A beautiful vintage brooch in the bag. Very nice. But I'm thinking I've how much more I can function today than I could three years ago. But 
I've learned to, there's a lot of adaptions I have to make, or adaptations I have to make, and without the medication I'm on. That's really pretty. And some neutrals with peach. Um, it's cute. It'll be really pre pretty for the fall. Um, I've had to make a lot of adaptations, and without medications, I wouldn't be where I am right now. And that's something I got to think about, having to have that for the rest of my life. There's a really pretty agate slice. And on the other side, it's decorative, decorated with like a tribal design. It looks like a gecko or something. Well, it doesn't have a tail. I don't know. Might be a person doing a crazy dance. Who knows? But I am grateful for the people and friends that I have met on YouTube. It really helped me a lot. There's been a lot of uh, days where it's been really dark. Um because of how I've been feeling and huh, I didn't feel like I had anybody I could talk to and then somebody would send me a message or somebody would come on and be happy to see me in the chat and it made me feel so much better. This is uh, frosted glass. It's got a toggle. Really cute. We get another handful out. I like when jewelry jars include um, stuff from all different types of jewelry and all different genres of jewelry because um, just because it's my style doesn't mean that that's what everybody else wants to wear. This is a really cute vintage piece. These are the little connectors. It's got an extender. It looks like it may, I don't know, it may or may not have had that. Usually they'll have like a hook, but this has got the spring ring. Sue's always gets all different kinds of stuff. I like watching her unboxings. If you haven't watched it, please, I'll link her in the description when I put this up. This is an Avenue name brand. It's going to be hard to see. Um, and this is the necklace. Really cute. Imagine that with your sweater. I know people like to laugh because I say t-shirt and jeans, but that's my idea of casual. Pretty general. T-shirt and jeans. So if I don't say t-shirt and jeans, then you know it means dress up clothes or go to work clothes. This is cute. It's got some different colors of green. It's marbled. This yeah, is Essence. It's a name brand of jewelry. Doc and I am recording live. When you talk like that, it goes on the other thing, okay? All right. Just, oops. Well, trying to throw things away. Ah, that's a bracelet. Silver tone and faux tortoise, tortoise shell. And then here, and it is hmm, chaps. Probably chaps by Ralph Lauren. So it's got a toggle here. So if you didn't want it to be short, you could take the bracelet and just stick the bracelet through the toggle and make it a little longer necklace. That's a trick. Let's get a little more. It's just still coming. It's still coming. This is a lot for $40. A lot more than you'd get at um, Goodwill. And the shipping was a lot more reasonable too. This is one of those little lockets that has the little uh, felt pads in there. And what you do is you can put your essential oil or perfume. It's shiny. It looks like it's stainless, which is a good thing. Good help is hard to find. If you find a good helper, keep them. This is all acrylic, even though it looks like it would be some stone and glass, and then this big piece here. This is acrylic, so if you like the look of stone, but don't want the weight of it, this is a good option. Even the little the red beads have like little marbling in them. Chaps. 
she got a Sue's got a box that had a bunch of Cookie Lee that actually was uh, still had its tags. And this is um, on one of those little organza ribbons. This is acrylic, even though it looks like it's turquoise and halite. But it's, it's very nice looking. Here is another little necklace. I'm excited coming up this week. Meredith and I are going on the uh, mountains trip with um, James Kelly and several other people from Facebook and from YouTube that are customers of his and we're going to a mine in North Carolina. This is a little cute necklace. Just very simple. Oh, I love this. I think Suze knows me just a little bit. So I'm sure she threw in a few things here. This is just a general fold over clasp and no name, but I love sparkle. And this is an AB coated crystal bracelet. Oh, I love that. I'd wear that to the grocery store. <laughs> I love bling. So what we'll do while we're down there at the mountains is we will try to do, we'll do some recording. That's cute. That's a seed big bracelet. Looking at it, thinking that probably takes somebody a lot of time. And then that little cheetah pattern is really cool. Got another pen. Oh, still got a lot. I probably got as much in there as I've taken out. There is a really cool feather on the longer chain. The name brand says S10. There's a symbol there, so I don't know, but it feels like a nice piece. I was, if you missed watching uh, Meredith with me this past Wednesday night, you might want to go back and just look at it. Just see. She has really worked hard on um, some jewelry things that she's made. This is the long tassel on the end of this bronze chain, which is really cool. I do not see a name brand on it. Probably got another couple of handfuls. Here is a cute little acrylic ring that is pink striped. Meredith has gotten into that when she was a kid. She did not like, was not one to like crafts or anything like that. And now she's found that she really likes making earrings and necklaces and she really has taken to ring making. Alrighty. She's going to be going on the trip with me. Here's a very cute bib necklace. It feels like um, shell or mother of pearl discs. There is a dyed shell bracelet. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what name brand this is. Cookie Lee. This is cute. That's a start to your layer in pieces. I've got my black Halloween nails on. Um, 
Viv will be coming on with me Sunday night. This is a Crown Trifari. Yep. On the back of it. Vaccine Rose. We have in this one. That's the pendant. Got some rhinestones. Nothing missing. Did you take the bag? Okay. Uh oh, this is a wild looking one. Let me get all this straightened out. Got some white chain fringe. Oh, that's cool. Y'all are like, what is she talking about? I'm holding it off so you can't even see it. Okay, let me put it down here. There's the white fringe with the chevron shape with rhinestones. It's really cute on a gold tone chain with an extender. It's a nice longer one. And we have got a beautiful abalone stretch bracelet. I bet my daughter's going to try to peel for this to make some stuff. So be on the lookout. And be ready Sunday night for you and Viv, which today's Saturday. I'm hoping to get this up before the auction if I'm up to it. I've had a little bit of a tough day today. That's why I'm starting so late. It's like right now it's 10.53 in the evening. Hmm. Let's see what this one is. It's got like a little lock. J-Lo. This is a good, just a long layering necklace if you're wearing a sweater. I like chains like this. It's something that's a little bit different. Pretty. No name on it. Here is a really cute bracelet. This hearts. It's a nice weight. It's not a little, doesn't feel like a little El Cheapo. That's my word for it. Some people say cheapy, I say El Cheapo. <laughs> My dad used to add L whatever on the things. <laughs> Here is a, okay, let it come back into focus. There we go. The nice acrylic pieces, but that would really look nice being one to work. I probably got two more handfuls maybe to get out of here. This was this is great for forty dollars plus shipping. Just shipped it along with some other things, so it you know took like a a larger flat rate. Oh, this is like one I had. I had one of these recently and sold it, so it came back to me. Maybe it's meant to be mine, or maybe it's meant to sell twice. It's got a dark purple piece in there. Here is a cool stretch bracelet with ovals and hearts. Oh, here's a pin pendant. Let's see what we got here. Let's get up a little closer. That's really pretty. Pan pendant. Some of these things I recognize from seeing, watching her unboxings, which are really cool. There is a beautiful heart. It's um acrylic over the design that says faith, and a beautiful chain. The chain has. I like chains like this, have little different stations and things. 
And it's just one you pull. Oh, I didn't think it had. There's the clasp. I was like, oh, it doesn't have a clasp. Very nice. Somewhere up along the 30 ish inch length. Here's a multi strand one. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see what the name brand is. Of course, I was thinking it was that. It is Chico's. All different lengths. Those feel like glass. The rest of them feel like acrylic. That's really neat. They always have good size attachments. Okay, I think this is going to be the last bunch I grab up. Let's just go ahead and dump it. All right. Then I got to get to the sterling. This isn't even the, the sterling. So the sterling's on top of that. That says love on a nice silver tone chain. Here is a nice little seed bead. Little small minimal necklace. I have got a puppy gold heart here on the chain. Oh, this is one of these. That, okay. This is one of these that you can adjust the length by pulling the chain. Uh, I tangled it up. She didn't have it tangled up, but that's really cute. But it's those adjustable ones, which is really nice. Here it is. This is cool. The flowers are leather. And then have some little bead chips. And it is long, 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 long. And this is a stiffer, it's like a cording in between. Everything looks really nice on it. Two more pieces and then the sterling. And I think the sterling itself is worth the $40. This is just gravy on top, as they say. This is a just a nice in this clay plum chain. That's what it says. Oh, and look at Suze's last the video from Friday night. She found that el elusive B hang tag. She found out what it was. So I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to just tell you to go watch her channel. I think it's like the first thing or so on there. Wooden beads and some shell. And here is the stock. I've got three pieces of sterling. Here is a beautiful ring, sterling, marked and tested. This is a small one. It could be a cute midi ring, pinky ring, or on someone that has small fingers, a replacement for like their wedding band or engagement ring if they go traveling. I don't have little fingers, and when I have a flare-up of pain or fiber in the algae, they swell. So we had to accommodate with my ring. Here is a pair of, looks like to me, four-leaf clovers. Meredith tried to call dibs on these. I might have to just fight her over them. <laughs> and, and she already did before I even got the package. And then this... Is a beautiful, it's got a beautiful sterling ball chain, and the pendant is also that's pretty. Also, a sterling that's great. <coughs> well, that's my box from Sue's. I also bought from Stephanie um, from her eBay shop. I got some new stone in. Let me show you a pair of earrings. So you got something to look forward to. 
This is the earring, and that is rainbow calcilica. The last rainbow calcilica I had had more blue. This has got more red. So thanks for watching. Like I said, if you've been watching my videos and haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, we're going to be having some adventures. We're going to be having some traveling um, videos come up. Some will be live. Some will be recorded. Um, I greatly appreciate Tiffany and um, for letting me come on with her. I've been on with her a couple of times this weekend, Tiffany's Cool Finds. Um, and I will greatly appreciate Patsy and Jenny. I came on with last night, and Jenny is so happy. She's been able to visit with her mom for the first time in a while. Video and things like that is great when you live ways apart, but to actually be able to touch somebody and be there is a whole different story. I um, appreciate you tuning in. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.